What is up, guys? It's Ty with H24 Outdoors, and today I've got three new baits from Brazalo. Um, and I'm super excited to show you guys. Uh, Brazalo's been working on this one, especially for quite some time now. Um, and we're super excited to have it at the shop. And all three of these are baits that I'm super excited about. If you've watched any of our um, videos where like uh, Ty went on that series, um, then you know that I love Brazalo's Bushwhacker buzz bait. And this is gonna an interesting spinoff of that buzz bait. So without further ado, let's get into it. guys coming up first we're super excited to have a chatterbait from brazalo this is the strutter and um this chatterbait is officially licensed through z-man i believe so everything is 100 percent legit with this um our good friend danny arbalo is the one behind these and he is a local guy out of sherwood i've shouted him out before but he just makes some great baits and um He's never made a chatterbait before, so this is the first one. I'm super excited to test it out. Uh, I know James is excited to test it out because James absolutely loves chatterbaits. But uh, yeah, we have got tons of colors in this guy. I know I just showed you guys the colors on that chatterbait. I literally, we've got from top to bottom on one of our racks, um, all different colors and sizes. It just has a really good feel to it. I'm interested to see how this blade performs though, because this is a little bit different than the blade that you see um, like on the Jackhammer or the Evo. But I know that Brazalo always makes high quality stuff. So I have no doubt in my mind that this is gonna be a bait that I use as I've recently grown to love a chatterbait. I cannot wait to try it out. I might try one out this weekend when we're out on the river, who knows? But next up, is called the Wee Whacker by Brazalo. And it's not Weed Whacker, that's what I thought it was. It's Wee Whacker. And um, basically, as you can see, it is just a little buzz bait, a little micro finesse buzz bait. This is gonna be an awesome bait, an awesome finesse bait. I feel like it's gonna be a potential smallmouth killer. I know that sounds pretty crazy, but I'm going to be taking this thing to Bull Shoals earlier or later in the year when we go in October. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I love the Bushwhacker by Brazalo. Um, the Bushwhacker is my all time favorite buzz bait. It is super solid. Never had a problem out of one. Um, that's my go to. That and a Booyah. But I will say that this Wee Whacker right here is awesome. And we have the Wee Buzz. And if you'll see, the only difference in these two is that um, the tie-off is spiraled around, so your line is not going to fall down on the Wee Whacker. But the Wee Whacker has a knocker, whereas the Wee Buzz has no knocker. This is just a free-flowing, um, just your standard buzz bait. And the Wee Whacker is the knocker. And me personally, uh, I'm not too educated on when to use a knocker and when not to use a knocker. I need to get educated, but if I am having to choose, I'm gonna go with the knocker. Uh, it's never let me down and I always try to get a head knocker. Buzz bait, so that's why I'm probably gonna be throwing this Wee Whacker a little more than the Wee Buzz. I'm sure I'll probably still throw the Wee Buzz just to try it out. Um, I'm super excited to see how these baits run. I know they run great. And I wanted to tell you guys that Danny Arbalo, the guy who makes these baits, he told us that they go great with a D-bomb. And it just so happens that our shop, we sell D-bombs in 25 packs. So when you're here, please pick up a pack of D-bombs with them. And I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. Hold on, I messed it up. Rookie mistake. There we go. Now that looks pretty sweet. Um, definitely the D-bomb is not going to be my first choice. Uh, I'm, I was thinking throwing more of like a paddle tail or like a smaller frog on it. 
But putting it on there, it looks really nice. I can see that this thing is going to perform well. Um, I'm super excited to try that out. Um, like I said, new stuff from Brazalo is always exciting around the shop because if I had to say our top baits that we like to sell here is probably Six Cents and Brazalo. And we sell a lot of Brazalo because it's a local guy. He supports our local fishing club. So always, always a fan to shout him out and always impressed with his work. He makes some super high quality stuff. As always, um, I'll leave this stuff linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any video suggestions that you'd like to see, uh, if you see behind me, we've got kind of a little studio set up. And me and James have talks of bringing in a podcast. So be watching out for that. As you can see, we've got the fancy microphone here, but I'm still using the one that's connected to my phone. But uh, yeah, be on the watch out for that. We're going to try to do those live stream, I think. Um, so be sure to stay tuned. We will release info on that when we have it. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, guys.